When it comes to Windows Phone 8.1, almost every aspect of the operating system has been touched upon or improved. Let's look at Internet Explorer, which gets some new features as well. So we can just head to WP Central and you can see it looks pretty normal, pretty much what we're familiar with. But there are some new additions. First of all, the menu system has been reorganized and it actually makes a lot more sense now. For instance, favorites and add to favorites are the top, which kind of makes sense as you probably use those quite frequently. Likewise for find on page, which I myself found I was using all the time. So that's higher up now in the list. Whereas you go down, the less popular items sort of go down there as well. So pin to start, you'll probably only use on occasion. Same thing with share page, recent, and the course settings, you'll only hop into once in a while. But while we're there, let's take a look. You have your mobile version, so you can do your preference, desktop or mobile. You also have use the address bar button for. So we have this feature right now in Windows Phone 8, but now it's been refined a little. So you only have tabs or favorites. That's because stop and refresh has been built into the actual address bar. I'll show you that in a moment. But so now you can only choose uh, tabs or favorites as your option. Um, for where you want to appear. You do have your data sense saving, so if you have data sense built in on your phone, which hopefully will be on all devices, you can see off, standard, high, or automatic. So that's basically the rate at which it will compress images and data to help save you that information. Of course, that'll reduce the visual acuity of those images. Likewise, you go down, you have delete history, and then the familiar advanced settings. Uh, get suggestions for being as I type, allow access to my location, send browsing history, do not track requests for websites you visit. Very nice feature that probably Android phones would be jealous of. And then you have your different viewing stuff here, including your font size. There is this reading viewer style, which allows you to change from bright, medium, light, or dark. And when we do that, you can see I hit dark and that changes. I haven't really noticed much effect of this when I do browse though, so perhaps it's still a work in progress. Yes, I have cookies for some websites. You can block some, I accept all. Uh, website passwords, you can remember, don't remember, or ask each time, which is really nice. And allow sites to store files on my phone. Uh, besides that though, you can also go into settings and you have your backup and this new feature, sync my settings. So on Windows Phone 8.1, you can now sync your theme, your app settings, Internet Explorer, and passwords to your various devices, which is pretty cool. And you can toggle those on or off depending on what you prefer. Going back into Internet Explorer though, and we can see here, those are basically all the settings. And we go back to the main window. Now we have our website here and we can do a new tab and there is one new feature there and you can see it right there, it says in private. To access that, you just bring up the little menu system and you see new in private tab. What is it? Luckily, it's going to tell you each time, but basically it is what it sounds like. It's a private browsing experience where the phone won't remember your uh, history and cache any information there. And when you do that, you see you get a little notification here saying that you're basically in a private mode uh, for your, that session. And it's kind of nice because you can toggle between the different tabs and you can see which one is private, which one is not. It's pretty well done. One feature we know is missing though is the current tab right here. On Windows Phone 8, it actually has a little number there to show you how many tabs you have. For some reason on 8.1, it doesn't have that, but perhaps in a later build of this operating system, it will be there. But overall, that is a quick look at Internet Explorer. And you can head to WP Central for more information. Tell us what you think. Take care, bye.